Hey everybody, I thought we'd do some calendar and weather today. All right, so you can see I've got the calendar up here. I've added a few things. So our season has changed to spring. We are no longer in winter. So that changed on Saturday. So spring is our new month and you can see here's our weather chart. I'll pan it down so you can see the bottom down here, right? There's our links for when we were in school. Doo -doo, there they are. And we'll add to that today depending on what the weather is, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and count and do our calendar, and then we'll add our numbers and our weather. Okay, everybody ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Take a deep breath. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, that's correct. Let me get that out of the basket. Here we go. All right, so today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. Everybody say it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. All right, let's do our days of the week song. You decide if you're going to snap or pat or do both. I think I'm going to pat today like this. So everybody ready? Okay, here we go. Days of the week, one, two. Days of the week, two. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Here we go. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, one, two. Days of the week, one, two. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, nice job, everybody. So weather today, let's take a peek outside. I'm not sure about outside of your house, but outside of my house, it looks just cloudy today, no rain. I marked rain for yesterday because we definitely had rain. So we're gonna come down here and grab a cloudy day. Put this back up here. All right, we'll put one for the morning class and the afternoon class. Cloudy, cloudy. There we go. There's one. And there's one. All right. So we've got that marked down here on, oops, cloudy. Sorry, I don't quite have that right. There we go. See it? Okay. Now let's take a look over here at circle time to see what's going on. Okay. All right. Let's go see what the letter friends are up to. Okay, boys and girls, looks like we have circle time this morning. So look, here's all the letter friends joining us for circle time. There's Miss J and we have our chart up there. We're gonna read her letter and find out where her hidden J's are. So let's say good morning. Well, let's do good afternoon to all of our letter friends. Ready, you wanna sing with me? Good afternoon, everyone, how are you? I'm good. Good afternoon, everyone, how are you? I'm good. It's time to start our day. We are here to work and play. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? I'm good. I hope you're good today, boys and girls. Doing well? All right, let's get right to it. So, the special read alouds for today is a book on joy. Do you remember when we read this book, boys and girls? This was for our Fruit of the Spirit back in, I think it was December. This was a wonderful book all about trying to capture joy. And you can see why Miss J chose this book, right? See the big J on there? And then we're gonna read one called The Bernstein Bears Count Their Blessings. Wonderful book. Goes along with things that bring us joy are those things that are our biggest blessings, right? And that's like things that we're grateful for. Remember when we talked about generosity and gratitude and being thankful around Thanksgiving? That's what that book's going to be about. So lots of fun today. Stay tuned for those. All right, so let's go up here first and find out where Miss J's hidden letters are. I'm going to turn this around really quick. Hold on. I'm going to put it on Miss J. Hello, Miss J. While I get this turned around like we do in class. Hold on. There we go. Okay, here she is. Meet Miss J. So we know that the J makes the J, J sound. And as you saw in the video this morning, Mrs. McAdams found some things around my house that started with J's. 
as did Olivia and Eleanor. Great job, everybody, on that. And I also got a special video from Espen this morning, and he found some letter J's around his house as well. So great job on that, Espen. Keep sending me those pictures and videos, everybody, of those special things that you find with a letter J in them. All right, let's read her letter. So we're looking or listening for that J sound. So if you hear it, give a thumbs up. Here we go. And you'll actually see it now, too. I'm going to point as we read along, right? So here we go up close. It says, hello, I'm Miss J. I love the sound of my jingle, jingle jacket makes. There's three J, J, jingle, jingle jacket. See it? In fact, I love all sounds. I keep a, here it is, journal. That's a little book that you write or draw in so that I can write about all the sounds I hear. Just listen to my journal page from January. Oh, that was two months ago, right? January. All right, so she likes sounds, special sounds. And I'll bet when you shake her, ready, listen. Here. Oh, you hear the jingle jingle of her jacket, don't you? Okay. All right, here's the sounds that she wrote in her journal. I hear jogging feet, clump, clump. That is the sound feet would make, wouldn't they? I hear a guinea pig, jump, jump. Hmm. I hear music, thump, thump. All right, so I'm gonna be still for just a minute. I want you to do the same and think about what sounds that you hear? Okay, ready? I'm gonna get really quiet and let's see what we can hear. Oh, well, I hear birds, which there are a lot of in my yard. I hear a car just starting to drive by my house. And I hear a saw. Two doors down <clears throat> from Mrs. McAdams, they're building a house, and I can hear the saw that they're using to cut some wood. Very interesting. What do you hear at your house? Hmm, I wonder. All right, let's see what the clue is. Here we go. Can you find my hidden letters? Just listen. Look at my front and my back to find them. Yours joyfully. Miss J. Hmm. Okay, so there's J's on the front and the back. So let's turn her around and start on the back and see if we can find the hidden J's. All right. I think they're a little easier on the back. Oh, do you see the hidden J? I'll give you a minute to look. I'll give you a clue. It's on her jacket not anywhere else sometimes we found out they're in the hair aren't they all right do you see it yeah there it is okay right there on the left there's the hidden j and there it is on her you see it on her jingle jacket awesome good job finding that everybody all right now let's turn everybody around i'm gonna turn miss j around first here we go Get her situated, get her jingly jacket ready. Oh, okay, there she is. And now I'm gonna turn the chart around. So give me one minute, boys and girls. I'm gonna put this on Miss J again. I turn this around with one hand. This is when I need a helper, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, here she, oh, here's the pictures. Right here's her guinea pig that she wrote about. The guinea pig that likes to jump, right? There she is doing a little dance with her partner there, Miss E. They're dancing together. Hmm. Here she is writing in her journal. And there she is. I call that jamming, right? When a whole bunch of musicians are playing music together, they are jamming, dancing and singing and having a great time. So there she is. I'll bet her jacket is really jingly, huh? Okay, so let's take a look at her front. Ooh, let's take a look up and down. Anybody see the J? I'll point to it if you see it. It's on her jacket again. This one's a little 
little bit trickier. Let's take a look at, oh, you know what? I'd have to fix her jacket in order to find it. So this is gonna give it away when I do this. Oh, actually it's very hard to see. Oh, see it in there? Underneath the sleeve, there's the big capital J. That one was harder to find. And if you look here, there it is right there. See it? I'm gonna trace it with my finger. Whoops, little hook on there. Sometimes when you see the capital J, sometimes it'll have a top on it straight across like that. Some people make their capital J's like that, which is fine. Uh, similar to how we made our eye, like a top on the eye. So there she is, good job. So when we have our letter page for Miss J, now you'll know where to find those hidden J's on the front and on the back. So great job, everybody. Okay, so that's the end of our time today, boys and girls, for circle time. So let's go around and say goodbye to everybody. First, goodbye to Miss J, and then goodbye, Miss F, Mr. H, Miss P, Mr. M, Mr. C, Miss A, Miss E, Miss K with her kaboom kick, Mr. D, Miss T, still brushing those teeth, Miss W, Mr. G, luckily he hasn't gotten any of that gum in my house. Mr. R, Miss L, Mr. N, Mr. O, Mr. I, Miss S, and Mr. B. Oh, I forgot one thing. Look, I have this from school. Yes, I don't have the chart that goes with it, but I do have the J objects. Here they are. There aren't too many in here. J's were a little harder to find, but let me show you what we have. All right, first we have this. This can sometimes have a top on it. This is called a j, j jeep There it is. All right, this one, a little different than an airplane. We call this one a jet. J, j, jet. There it is. These are special toys. I used to play with these when I was little. They come with a bouncy ball. They're called jacks, and you put them there, you bounce the ball, you pick them up and try to catch the ball all at the same time. I'll have to get a ball and maybe we'll try it out and see if it works. Then we have this, do you remember? Okay, not a pumpkin. Remember when we sang our Halloween song? I'm a little pumpkin, a pumpkin, a pumpkin. Do you remember what the second verse was? When he got a face? I'm a little that's right, jack-o-lantern, a jack-o-lantern, a jack-o-lantern. So there's our jack-o-lantern, there it is. And then we have our capital J and our lowercase j. It has a dot on it just like we made for the I, whoops. So just like the I, not too big, not too small. And when you write it, it's not normally attached. Attached here though, just because it's the magnet. So there it is. Okay, boys and girls, there's the end of our circle time. So stay tuned tomorrow. We will listen to Miss J's song and have more fun activities and books to read. So have a wonderful day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and if you find any of those J objects, send me those pictures or videos. I'd love to get them. All right, everybody, have a great day. Bye-bye.